chairman of the Australian Liver Foundation uh, is the Honourable Micah Hearn, and I'm um, very pleased and honoured to uh, introduce him um, to um, announce the beginning of this Liver Research Fund. Mr Hearn entered state politics in Queensland in 1968. Many would say it's the best place in Australia. Probably Mr Hearn would say that too. But if you look behind you, you can see that there's a bit of competition. <laughs> Mr Hearn um, became the Premier of Queensland in um, the, the late 80s and is now the Chairman of the Australian uh, Liver Foundation. Um, he has a background in agricultural science and has uh, been a long-term supporter of research and development. So it's my great pleasure to bring you up to the uh, podium, Mr Ahern. Thank you very much, uh, everybody. I realise uh, time's against us. Uh, so, but I'd like to uh, commence a, a few comments about the Australian Liver Foundation and the Liver Kids part of it. Uh, by reciting to you an anecdote which I uh, uh, heard some time ago. For a while in my very extensive career, I was um, Trade Commissioner for India uh, from the state of Queensland, which took me to India on 16 occasions. If you get a chance to go to India, it's a great place to go. Uh, it's very instructive. It's rich in poverty and rich in philanthropy probably better philanthropy than anywhere else in the world. And, um, I heard the story there of a, a couple who'd had a very bright child and they lived in a village on the outskirts of Bombay. And um, this child obviously showed great promise so they scraped money together to get her to school, to university and then to get her placed in a, in a big organisation in Bombay and that was all successful but she was not. Something was missing and uh, no matter what she tried she was not successful so what did she do? She went home to mum and she said to her mother what, what am I doing wrong here? And so her mother thought a bit for, for a while and uh, on the stove she took three saucepans, filled them up with water, put them on the stove, brought the water to boil in the first one she placed a carrot, the second one an egg and the third one some coffee beans. Now she said after they came to the boil to the, to the child she said tell me what you see. And so the first one she said well I see a boiled carrot. And the second one she said a hard boiled egg. And the third one she said well, well some coffee beans and uh, coffee broth. And she said, Mother, what do you see? So she said, well, in the first one, the carrot, she said, I see something that was fresh and alive. And when it went into the harsh environment, it became limp and unpalatable. The second one, the egg, there was something that had an absolutely unique opportunity, full of potential for life, went into the harsh environment and it became a hard boiled egg. The third one, well you see that's different. She said when they went into the hard, harsh environment, they changed the water. And when Claire's Leonard Matthews came to me, she said, we're operating in a pretty harsh environment. Kid with, kids with liver disease and their families and friends and so on, this is pretty tough going. So what we've got to do is work together to secure some change in the way that we deal with this problem and we want to contribute to it. And so what is the Liver Foundation able to do to assist us to do this? And so that had, the outcome of that has been today something I announced that we've gone ahead and done. I hope you'll support it because it's there, it's alive. 
Liver research is a fundamentally starved area of research because there's just not enough of it. Liver disease in the community is very widespread. Something like 20 to 30 percent of people in this country have liver disease, so there's plenty of other things to research rather than the very narrow area of kids' liver research. So it doesn't get the attention of the money of the resourcing that we need to get some outcomes. And so um, we've decided to establish a fund called the Liver Kids Fund on the Australian Liver Foundation website. You'll have a look. There, when you get home and have a look at it, it's up and it's live with the assist assistance of my daughter, Claire. The two Claire's have come up with this, this device. Have a look at it. There's a button on the front of the website, www.liver.org.au. Liver Kids is on the front. There's a button there to push. It goes down to a particular area on the website where there's a, a fund established there uh, wherein we can quarantine the money that comes in and make sure it all goes toward research and deliver kids' disease. Now, the Yanks research everything, and uh, they've done a lot of research on how people contribute uh, to medical research, and they'll tell you uh, that about 80% of medical research funding that's donated comes from grateful patients. That's the people who are involved with the disease or the people who are around it and are affected by it. You think it might come from the big corporations and so on, but no, it comes from the people who are affected by the disease. And so if we are going to do something about this and we are determined to do it, uh, then it's got to come from us. 80% of it's coming from us. We're working at other sites as much as we can, but it will come from people who are affected. And so the Australian Liver Foundation now is making a special effort with, with Claire Leonard Matthews' initiative, my daughter Claire as well, to make sure this works. If a donation is made, if you run a function to raise some money, you can put it straight in there, get a receipt back straight away. And that fund will sit there and we will make sure it goes into liver research for kids. So that that harsh environment in which you live and work will have some extra special effort as a result of uh, these efforts. And I congratulate you on all that you do. I wish you well, and I will do everything in my power through my foundation to make certain that a maximum effort is made to raise the necessary funds so that those words, Billary or Treasure, and those sorts of things can be overcome by research. And research is not just for us. The thing I like about medical research is that if something is done there that produces an outcome, then the whole world benefits. And so we want to make some of these things happen. I heard a lecture, incidentally, on Billary Atresia not too long ago where a well-known researcher said he thought uh, that, that the actual causative agent of Billary Atresia was a virus in, in the womb. If that's so, it must... It, could be easier to redress it in, into the long-term future. Let's hope he's right. But we need the research. We need those innovative people. We've got the contacts with the research organisations and the people who can match our funds to get a tight focus on, on some solutions long-term to the difficult climate in which you live. Work. Thank you very much.